Version 9.9 .9 introduces subtasks for tasks and goals, a redesigned week planner, and drag and drop. Managing complex tasks and goals becomes much easier with the new subtasks feature. You can add subtasks. You can add sections. Or convert subtasks into sections. You can drag and drop to reorganize. You can create up to five levels of nesting subtask sections. For each subtask, you can set due date, make it repeatable, add note, comment, or schedule calendar sessions. A calendar session can have multiple subtasks, either from the parent task or of its own. When you check off the subtask in a calendar session, the subtask state also gets updated. If the subtask is repeatable, it can be completed multiple times in different calendar sessions. You can use the newly introduced subtasks KPI to track the progress. Next, let's check out the brand new week planner. The new design uses calendar view for easy planning. You can swipe to switch between days. Tap the next or previous button to switch between weeks. You can set the themes of a day. At the top is the all day area where you can find calendar sessions or blocks without time of day. You can drag and drop them to a time range or a block to schedule if needed. At the bottom of the planner is where you can access your tasks, goals, and backlog items. You can drag and drop items from here to the planner to schedule. For example, to schedule a calendar session for a task, you can drag and drop the task or tap to expand. Here, you can schedule calendar sessions from upcoming sessions. subtasks, or from past calendar sessions. Drag and drop also available in the month view and day view. For example, in month view, you can drag and drop to a date on the calendar. In day view, you can drag and drop to schedule a task, to move calendar sessions between blocks or between days. The day view now also got better support for blocks with multiple segments. For example, the work block has two segments for two time ranges. Calendar sessions from different time ranges are separated and you can move between time ranges easily. That's it for Journal at 9.9, .9, available on Android, iOS, and web at journalit.app. Happy journaling!